What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Tom Trips Out. In this episode, I'm at Wat Phanam. I'm gonna tell you everything about teaching English in Cambodia and Vietnam. My name's Tom, this is my trip out. Well, hey everybody, come along with me. Take a trip to a place to fight with our sea. Make me believe we'll see the joy they bring. And how much it costs to try new things. Well, come and watch me on the trip out. So we'll explore our way around and I'll, uh, I'll explain teaching English in Cambodia and Vietnam. So if you're interested in teaching English abroad and you've been watching my channel and trying to plan out your own course of action on how you're going to do it and you're just wondering, uh, uh, you know, on someone's input who's here already doing it like me, well basically there's three ways you can go about it. And uh, we're going to go through those three ways one by one. And this applies for Cambodia and for Vietnam. So the first way doing an in-the-country TESOL program that lines you up with a job after the course. And that's basically what I did. And there's many of them out there if you search for them. But some are not as good as others. And the one I took is one of the best. It's government accredited. It has a really strong reputation. And it continues to have a strong reputation even to this day. I did it like two and a half years ago. The way these type of programs work is you actually go straight to the country like in my case Phnom Penh, Cambodia, and you do the course in the country. And what's great about that is you're in a class with like 10 other people from around the world that have all come to do the same thing. So you're not starting off <clears throat> completely alone. You do all your work together, you go out and experience new things on the weekend together, and then you graduate, and sometimes you'll even get hired at the same place together. And as part of this program, they send you to schools where you observe teachers teaching for a class and you do it for different age levels, different types of schools, so you get an idea of what it's like. Then you go back to those schools and you actually take over the classroom for an hour so you get practice teaching and you do that like six to eight times and so you, by the time you're out of there and you've finished and you're interviewing for jobs, then uh, you've already had some experience in the classroom. You feel way more confident answering those interview questions saying, well, actually, that's a good question because when I just last week when I was doing a demo for grade one, this happened and this is how I dealt with it. And all of a sudden, you look much stronger in the interview. Then, yeah, the best part about choosing AVSC is not only is it government accredited, but you're guaranteed to be lined up with job opportunities coming right out of the course. So the course takes four weeks and within about another 10 days after that, you'll be working. So the second way it can be done, becoming certified and moving and teaching English abroad, is you could do a TESOL course online. It's all the same stuff that I've been telling you about, all this coursework. They offer the, the same program with AVSC is offered online. And this is for people that would rather chip away at it in their spare time at home, or maybe they can't quite abandon everything and uh, drop everything and move here right away, but they'd like to start working towards it start selling their stuff, start making a plan in the evening, start chipping away at the TESOL program homework. So you could be completing the course online as you're getting ready to make the move here. And that's like another way that some people do it. So you'd complete everything ahead of time at home. And then when you come here, all that's left is those practical things where you show up in the class to observe and to practice. And that way is actually a little bit cheaper. And when you come here, you, you would start working after only like one week instead of uh, you know a four week course and then, a, and then a one week. So some people prefer that and it works better for them. Mm. 
So the third way that you could make it happen to teach in Vietnam or Cambodia is get a TEFL certification in your hometown, you know, from somewhere else other than AVSC. Maybe you have a community center close by or a university or a school, and sometimes they offer like outside courses like TEFL or TESL. And as long as they're legitimate and recognized, then you could use that. And AVSC has a separate program called Teaching Jobs Abroad Program. And it's for people that already have a TEFL certificate and they just want the help being lined up with a job placement. So these three programs can all be found on the AVSC website. I've put a link in the description below. I did the full, full four week in the country course and that's the one I would always recommend. But all those are available to you and they do Phnom Penh, Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi is opening up soon too. It's just if you plan to work in Vietnam, you have to have a degree to get a work permit. So if you have a degree, you should go to Vietnam. If not, you can work in Phnom Penh. Sometimes people want to know like what's the expected salary? working in Cambodia. I don't have a degree, so I've never worked in Vietnam, but I know it's much higher in Vietnam, but you have to have a degree. In Cambodia, you should start at around 1200, I'd say 1100 minimum. Between 1100 and 1300 a month is US is what you would start at being a teacher. And all your costs per month would probably add up to like 900 or a thousand so you should be able to cover all your costs and save a little bit I was I'm a really good saver I was able to save two or three hundred a month and still go on trips and still buy things I need and base strings and clothes and shoes and you know and I'm doing just fine and I even stopped teaching at the original school I got a job at for about six months and if you watch my videos you know this already but about a month or two ago I started applying around to try to find a part-time job at maybe the language center or another school and it was no problem within about a week or two I had a few interviews and got another job so having AVSC on your side is definitely worth it something to think about check out the website there's lots of testimonials from other students that went through there too you can read about other people's experiences if you have any questions comment below or you can add me on Instagram I could talk to you in one on one in the DMs. I have many other videos about teaching here, living here, finding apartments. Check out my playlist. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. And remember, how you spend your days is the way you spend your life. It's never too late to start tripping out.